Hi, I'm Tim Erden, professor and author of Statistics in Plain English. In this lesson, what we're going to do is we are going to find the score that marks the um, percentile of a normal distribution, a certain percentile of a normal distribution. So, for example, say we have an IQ test, and we know that in the population, the average is, score is 100, and the standard deviation is 15. And we might want to know, what's the score that marks the 90th percentile? Of this distribution. So we know what area we're looking for, but we don't know what the x value is. We are trying to figure out the raw score that marks the 90th percentile. Here's how you do it. The formula for finding a raw score that marks a certain percentile is to take the mean and add the product of a z-score times the standard deviation. If we're looking for a uh, percentile that's below the mean, then we would take the mean and subtract the product of the z-score and the standard deviation. In this situation, we know that the mean is 100. So we can plug that in. And we know that the standard deviation is 15. What we don't know is the z-score. <clears throat> and so how do we figure that out? Well. If we know that we're looking for the score that marks the 90th percentile of the distribution, we know that that score is going to be the spot that 10% of the distribution falls above and 90% falls below. So if we look at Appendix A for the area beyond Z that is closest to 10% or 0 0.10, uh, that's how we find our Z score. When I look, I can find a value that is 0 0.1003 and the z-score that corresponds with an area beyond z of 0 0.1003 is 1.28. So I plug that into my formula, and then I have to multiply 1.28 times 15. And what I get is 19.2. And then I just add those together. And then I wrap words around my result. The score that marks the 90th percentile in this distribution is 119.2. And that's how you use uh, z-scores to find the score that marks a certain percentile in a normal distribution.